right, let's get into American Murder, The Family Next Door. It's a new Netflix film released yesterday, and, uh, you know, completely free if you part if you have Netflix. It's about the Watts family murders. Um, and this is a documentary which greatly details each aspect of the case of this family atrocity. But you know how all those true crime documentaries are all like kind of um corny. They're all like they have that that corny narration with the corny text showing up on the screen. The corny montage of pictures and and just the normal the you know the sound effects of the the camera flashing at the crime scene. No, no, no. 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 This is an interestingly edited documentary because it's done with no narration. It's just showcasing body cam footage as well as um security footage and new and uh, news reports at the time of the incident, which was uh, two years ago, but it really was released now, 2020. And um, this is not no bullshit. This is actually a really well edited thing, and it's only over an hour. It's only like one hour twenty three minutes. Um, not really a waste of time. Just a cool little like showcase of how a marriage can be so happy on social media and there are pictures of happy scenarios and parties and vacation but behind the camera there's a lack of satisfaction there's infidelity there is sides being taken from the in-laws and then the family atrocity occurred which what ultimately happened is the husband has a life sentence for killing his wife and and uh, the two children, and also the wife was pregnant, so he basically killed like four people, or three and a half people, however you want to say it. Um, this was not really a waste of time. It wasn't really like all the other stupid true crime documentaries out there. Um, when he's convicted, like when they find out it's the husband um, through the interrogation footage, it's not just like, oh, end a movie. <laughs> like, no. It shows the online... Um, theories put out there and how this kind of went a little bit viral not i mean it was viral enough to get on dr phil the uh, lawyer who covered this but um It just kind of shows how there's theories about uh, who killed the kids. Was it the uh, wife? Was it the um, husband? But, you know, it just shows many conflicting views and many different sides of the stories out there spread through social media um, at the time that this happened. Overall, short, cool Netflix film. It's not a short film. It's a feature film. Hour, 23 minutes, but it is short. It's not like... It was, wasn't that much. It was only like, yeah, you know... Um, I'm gonna give it the Kino Steel of Approval. Stamped. <laughs> Kino Steel of Approval. Really dug it. Um, yeah, if that guy, like, handles, like, the documentary about, like, someone very famous or something else, like, I'm down to watch that. Like, I wonder what, I wonder what this guy can do, like, with other documentaries. Like, what if he does a documentary about the George Floyd protests? God rest him. Um, but, um, that would be interesting. Like, I want to see what this director of this documentary could do something more modern that happened more recently because you know the world has been hectic maybe we'll do one about the fires i don't know but i really dug the director and the editor cool stuff check it out on streaming netflix it was released today mike media empire mike media incorporated